Um, so now what we want to do is, um, as I mentioned at the start of this video series, we're going to have this as a different material to the um, to the red kind of painted area. So what we're going to do then is come to our materials, search for steel again, and we're going to drag that into the scene. Now obviously that's covering the entire model at the moment, and we only want it to be on these bars. So if we right click and add a black mask, and then we're going to go to the polygon fill tool and you notice how that gives us a wireframe around our model. Um, what this lets us do is basically select polys um, on our model and assign and paint the mask um, white where that's happened. You can paint it black too, you can just flip here your different colours. So we'll go to white and first of all we'll select polygon fill and we'll just do a marquee select around these bars and you can see how they have changed um, change to our other material. By the way one thing we can do is go to our environment um, set here and we can up the exposure if we want and you can pick a different environment map as well. So um, yeah you can make it easier and another thing you can do is you can set your wireframe opacity in here too. So obviously I know the um, uh, the UV layout pretty well, um, so I'll just select the bits I know are right. Um, just to show you here, uh, other tools you can use, you also have uh, Mesh Fill, which will just literally, when you left click, it will fill the entire mesh with that colour. We'll go back to black. And you also have UV Chunk Fill, so if I just select that, make sure I'm on the other colour you can see I can just click to fill in entire islands. So that can be useful here, so let's make sure we're on that mode and then click these individual areas like so. And again obviously you can do marquee select too. Um, another way to uh, make this easier to actually view is you can just press C on your keyboard to go to a uh, uh, one of your channels and that can also kind of help with that too. So we also need our four handles here. And then if we go back to polygon fill we should probably fill these in too. Just to show you here I can actually select these in the viewport as well. Don't need to uh, set them on the UVs, you can do this in your viewport display. So uh, once you've got those selected, if we just hold Alt and click here on our mask, we can see that those areas are now white and that's where that material is going to display through. If we just press M on our keyboard, that will take us back to uh, um, the full material display. Now what you can do obviously is have a different material on this with here, but I wanted to maintain the kind of dirt and where we built up on this, so I just wanted to change it to a different metal. Um, so obviously at the moment the metal is above everything else, so what we can do is actually select this, and we want to drag this beneath all our wear and so on. Um, so obviously remember you can go into your settings as well, and you've got quite a few uh, parameters you can change. You could match these up to what you uh, did on the other metal, just to show you, you can add a few scratches, you can add some dirt, and uh, you could do various other things, and also you can tweak the uh, tweak the colour as well.